Hello, this is M with Unreal Mapping, and welcome to our latest Let's Adventure with the Charnel House Trilogy. Um, this is by Owl Cave Games. It, uh, I don't actually know when this came out, because I didn't do any research, so my apologies. Um, help? Interact, examine, fast travel, okay, cool, quit. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to quit, quit. Alright, so we're gonna play... I've played Sepulcher when it was new. Um, it's like... It was like a standalone thing, and then it was combined into these three games. I don't think this is very long. It's like a horror adventure game. I don't know. I, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. There's an inhaler. There's a doggo. There's a lantern. Uh, this game normally runs at like very low resolution, so the pixelation is part of the game. So please enjoy that. Uh, I think it looks fine. There was like a filter that smoothed it out a bit, but I think those look ugly. I like it chunky, so we're going to watch it chunky. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start with Inhale. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news! The blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, Lock your doors, wrap up warm, and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test, Test Pilot. Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Okay, so we have interact, right? Gavin. Um. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since, since, well, the night he left. I guess my birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. Uh, one thing to note: this game runs at uh, 16 by 10, so there will be bars on the YouTube video. My apologies for that. Just uh, how it goes. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Oh, well, shout out to Gilbert Dave Gilbert. Uh, Watch it, I games creator. Uh, I was about to say this kind of reminds me of the Blackwell games in like. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's our inventory in um, aesthetic, at least so far. Um, which is great. Uh, the phone's blinking. Let's Books, look at the games. A couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler, for some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. Right. Uh, we do the thing I always do, which is look at uh, everything. Light switch is not an object. My trusty portable radio. These days it gets a lot of use. We don't know this character's name yet, right? My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. Wait, we'll get there. My DVD collection. I think if- Okay. Um, can we walk over here? I'm gonna pan? Okay, cool. Go to the far end. My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. Ooh, a window. surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. I like this low-key, like, sexy 90s, like, HBO music. It's very good. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Uh, I probably need an object for that. Ah, oh, my dear sweet desktop. Aging graphics card, hard drive clogged up with all manner of shit. It's still my baby. Okay, um, now we can start interacting with things. Well, the let's kitchen. See. I'm okay, um. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. All right, let's check things now. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. Okay, is this a... I want to, but I think I've got something to do first. Great. Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. 
personal message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. Okay. Um... God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Um, alright. This is definitely one of those, like, got all my friends on YouTube or on Twitter to submit audio clips, which isn't bad. It's just, uh, definitely an aesthetic. Sure. I could use a shower. Ten minutes. It's a fast shower. I don't really want... I've got no desire to go out. I thought you were meeting somebody. The door to my apartment. Sure, I'm going to stand around staring at it all evening. The peephole doesn't even work. Um, I guess we could interact with this, maybe? Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. So she's an, an American in New York, but said parcel, which is not a thing people say. Oh, hey. This is like a Wajidai game. A memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. Okay. Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that this is a joke that we can all make. Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. You sure? Power on. Good idea. Oof. A photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a, a girl's entitled to the occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? It's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there, too. Okay. It was taken on my birthday a few months ago. Uh... Right, let's do this. What are we doing? Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable, makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Ah, here it is, I think. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. What? Is that on my bookshelf or something? Let's do this, then. Um. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. Well, it's this one called Eternal House Burial. It could be this one. I should double check the title. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prize? The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Uh, okay. Death, the high cost of living, 
just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. 50 Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume 2. Oh, this will be the I one. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click this one. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. A beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. Oh, this is, this is very, uh, very gamer insidery, um, which isn't bad, I guess. Just, uh, I'm not used to that. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Wait, this is clearly the book. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. The writer walks the shores walks the shore. where love inscribed its final kiss. Time... How is that not? Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. I feel like I've read a Marisha Pessel book. But Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially... Sh in fact, everyone should. Yeah, okay. I'm saving it for a special occasion. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. Since I haven't read it, okay. I haven't thought about this book in years. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can just... Okay. As shown in... Oh, Cassell, you are a strange and troubled... For oh, your graduation, I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Oh, mouse. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. Train? For what? Train tickets, why? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? check your neighbors oh goodness there's a person now it's storming and this is going to be fun making my way to the station by midnight i'm not being sarcastic i just want the tickets to get here guess i'd better find a way to spend my evening then i don't feel like playing a game so maybe a dvd is in order might make a change what if we just open that one it seems like the storm's i'm not reaching back if i was drinking but I so batten down those hatches and get ready for a cozy musical night in with me, Kenna Martin, exclusive hmm. BC3. Can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, must be jammed. I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. What? Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutlery with him, so I'm having to make do with brittle plastic crap. It won't be any use. The more I think about that, the more it pisses me off. Who takes the fucking forks when they go? Seriously. Uh, okay. Something in the coat, maybe? I don't re There's nothing useful in the- Okay. Books, games, or I guess I could take now, the inhaler? let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at 7 in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Look, I'm trying to help you. There's gotta be something on the desk then, right? I've already read it. Okay. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. 
This idea is so stupid that it might just work. I don't think, uh, hmm. I'm not sure lampshading your puzzle like that's like the best way to go about business, but okay. I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. Uh, yeah, sure. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Yeah, there we go. We go. Oh. I'm not closing it again after all that. Okay, examine it then. Right, let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. This is the most written by a British person video game I've ever seen. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Alex Davenport's a very good protagonist name, uh, for the record. Popping achievements like crazy. Hey, Alex. Here. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah oh, god. Gavin again? Nah. Sounds like Jim Sterling. This time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be alright. I I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah, seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I that's do. from Sterling. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're gonna have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. It's a package. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. I don't think that's true at all. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, 
the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. It's a good image. I like that rain window. It's a nice effect. It's a ghost lady. Looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow's still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Um, alright. Uh... Let's call it here, I think. So, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next time with more of the Eternal House trilogy. If we finish... My cracked little doggy. Um, if we My finish... We're just gonna look at these, I cards, guess. Cards, money, mace, the usual. My trusty lighter. Ten years old and still going strong. I plan to play all three of these as like a single game. I'm pretty sure they're meant to be that way. So I actually think we're probably near the end of Inhale because I think Sepulchre is the train stuff. So we will um, just keep rolling if that's the case. I don't know if they're actually split up like that. I'd like to say smoking is my only vibe. Okay. The Charnel House Burial. I don't remember bringing this. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, so that's it for us. Thanks so much for watching. Check out normal mapping and come back next time for more of the Charnel House Trilogy. Thanks.